good morning everybody welcome to this very first initiative of vedi global business limited uh, we want to start this for the benefit of businesses and the first step is are do you want to be an entrepreneur please mute all of you please uh, or administrator please mute everybody yes kadir allow me uh, to speak lakhi ji bole yes so welcome everyone very good morning namaskar aur suprabhat mera naam rakesh raizada hai i will uh, speak in english because uh, maybe kai log aise honge jinko हिंदी में बहुत कुछ लोगों के लिए अच्छा होगा कि इंग्लिश में बोलूं मैं इसलिए ही केवल इंग्लिश में बोल रहा हूं सो माय नेम इज राकेश रायजादा आई एम वन ऑफ द फाउंडर्स ऑफ वैदिक ग्लोबल एंड वी स्टार्टेड दिस विद अ वेरी गुड विजन ऑफ वर्ल्ड इज वन फैमिली अवर मेन मोटिव इज ऑल बी हैप्पी all well being of all and everyone should be disease free and we wish to form vedic center across the globe to spread vedic values culture and philosophies working closely with like minded individuals organizations and governments to achieve our vision vision and mission and make this world a happy and healthy harmonious place so with this we started vedic global and then the next logical change or transformation or addition was vedic global business we equally we want to unite all the vedic global businesses and in that we have started this uh, separate website for vedic global business and you are in a class you can all the businesses can register themselves list themselves and network and grow their business to take it to the next level we have started this series webinar series which uh, specialists like uh, vinit ahuja ji will be there i will introduce him in a minute first i want to talk about myself uh, i have got over 30 40 years experience in banking field banking and finance field i have worked in india kenya and australia in senior management roles last position held by me was heading the indian banking division of commonwealth bank and later country head for south asian banking so i can add value to your business because i have been helping um, the people from indian subcontinent in my role previous role and currently running three four charities prominent among them is this one vedic global ramon helps and i'm advisor to three four more uh, in nutshell i can be one stop solution for all your problems i can help you in personal and business related finance matters uh, there is a team of mentors in vedic global business i will name them but i will like you to visit these people explore yourself uh, prominent among the mentors are hamesh yadav he is a behavioral coach expert we have raghu kurti who is the creator of this very proactive and outstanding website he is into it sandeep soni over 25 ex years experience and he is specializes in marketing and foreign trade oh, no, sorry i was really successful person uh, please mute yourself uh, all of you please uh, he is running tax and it and other companies so you can explore his profile on uh, our website vipul harya who is networker entrepreneur and you can also um, view his profile it will this uh, after we finish this it will be live on his 
channel also, which is called Lotus World YouTube channel. And also this uh, will be available on Vedic Global Business website as well. So in nutshell, this is our um, brief introduction. You can ask questions and all later, but I will come to uh, the subject itself right away and introduce our very esteemed Vineet Ahujaji. Vineet Ahujaji I've known for several years. He is a growth facilitator, helps business to grow, use government incentives, grants, and collaborate across the uh, other SMEs. He has vast senior management experience in con uh, confectionery, health foods, pet food, medical devices, healthcare products, oil, plastics, chemicals, and consulting. The achievements include partnering to revive own small company to transform large loss making businesses of global icons on hands implementing best practices, business development, board member, consulting to Australian and global companies and managing technology transfer uh, projects in Malaysia, India and Mexico. Vineet is uh, qu a qualified mechanical engineer, holds an MBA and PG diploma in quality management. So besides this, I will also give you his another uh, side of his life. He is very well um, associated with very credible charities. He helps Koshika Foundation in India, where free eye surgeries are done for have-nots, uh, including heart surgery for the children. He is executive team member of Ramon Helps, a charity where I am. Uh, he is with me in my team. And he does a lot by freely uh, imparting this knowledge across. Uh, so we are very grateful that Vineet Ji has offered his services here. And these series which we are starting is to help businesses. Whether you become, list your businesses on our website, that will be great because you will uh, get a lot of benefits out of it. There are three types of listings you can do uh, free. You can pay $50 per year or uh, for four businesses, you can just pay $100 per year and you will get huge benefits. Uh, it is like listing is like your own website. You don't have to create your separate website. When you go to a web website, you will know. And this series, as I was mentioning, this is the first one for those who want to become a business person, entrepreneur, or who are in starting phase but we will grow and step up by providing more in-depth uh, seminars on these subjects, step by step growing. Like last uh, next week, we have got for uh, CEOs, so those who are running businesses, owners of businesses, for them we have next week another seminar, but this one is for beginners. And without further ado, I will pass it on to Viniji. Over to you, Viniji. Thank you. Um, can people see the screen, please? I hope so. Um, so just, um, I think we'll quick kick off. Um, thank you very much for those kind words, Rakesh. I don't know whether I deserve all of them or not, but I will try my best to come up to the expectations. Um, so my name is Vineet Ahuja, and um, I am currently a growth facilitator, as we are called, um, a kind of a business advisor, a management consultant, but we work on behalf of the federal government, Commonwealth government nationally. So I, my role is to help uh, businesses um, in helping them grow. Um, we spend time more with eligible businesses, but I work across anybody, any, any kind of size, any um, uh, person, any, any kind of a business, any help that people need. I am happy to spend time and help them. So, without any um, further ado, I would start our presentation of the uh, subject today. So, when we started discussing how do we help businesses, the point raised was there are two categories of people. One is people who want to start business, and how we can help them so that they do not commit errors and wrong decisions. 
And the second was we help those companies that are uh, or people who are already running their companies, how to help them grow. So this is mainly uh, concentrating towards people who are either want to start a business or are uh, in the pro in the process of um, thinking about it, want to and are. Basically, uh, in a startup mode, excuse me for this, guys. Um, so, uh, so if, if the end, um, I've tried to cover a fair bit of ground. If, um, if you have questions pertaining any field, please do um, go ahead and ask, and we'll try to answer it here, or we'll ask you to come in the next one, um, if it is for an existing business. But... Um, if you are a startup, great. If you are just having started business recently, even then it's great. So the first thing that uh, I am looking at as an entrepreneur is that you provide product, process, or service for sale or hire, okay? And generally, it's a small business. It starts with that. Um, for everybody. And to me, nothing can happen at all if you do not concentrate about why. Why do I want to do this? What is it that you have, you are passionate about? What is it that you want to do to achieve. Most of the people who don't know much about it, haven't thought about it, they only look at saying one thing, oh, I want to make some, I want to make a lot of money. That is really not the reason why you do this. Okay, there are a lot of main reason, money will come if you do it properly. But then what do you do with the money? And uh, so there is, there is a, there has to be a passion or a dream that you want to achieve, go grow into, to do this, okay? The only way to do great work is to love what you do. And Steve Jobs said that. You need to have that passion to do this. And I tell you, I'm gonna talk a lot more about the second sentence, which is says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it, okay? Very crucial, just remember this sentence and we'll come on that. I won't spend um, more on this slide, Next to the passion and dream is the first rule to start a business. But then let us understand, do you have a business running employee mentality or an employee mentality? Be very crucial. If your mentality is of zero risk, that you are not prone to take high risks, you are very that on a monthly basis you get a pay packet that you get some salary coming into your and so you know what what money is coming in and you can budget and you are dependent upon the freebies that come along in a job you know annual leave taking one month off forget the world etc 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 those are the employee mentalities that many of us have uh, it may look like Oh, well, why would people have that? But I'm telling you, a lot of people. So you need to understand, is that where you are? Is your risk profile ready to take risks or not? Okay. If, you do, if you're not, then don't look at it as a business place. There are other things we can do, and I can teach that separately. I will do that. I have got a separate slideshow on, you know, taking up a job. It's a six-stage process. Okay. Anyway, the business means you have to have a discipline. And believe me, when people say, oh, I've worked nine to five in a business, it never will happen. When you're running a business, it's 24 by seven. If you're thinking, if, if you're home and the weekend, you're thinking. At night, you're thinking. So you've got to look at that as a 24 by seven work and a discipline to do things for it is very crucial. And in the main thing that a business starts is on an idea. An idea comes from your passion and dream. You see something, you're 
fascinated by it and you want to achieve it. And the idea is where you work on, okay? It's a marathon. A, running a business is a marathon. If you are here for a quick money scheme, please don't waste your time. Don't, because I'm not gonna talk about that. If you are here to create a, a wealth for your family, for your family can be proud of you, your children can be proud of you, you can leave a legacy to your children, that is what it is a business. And must be business always are should be run as a marathon and not as a sprint. <clears throat> so there are rules to start a business. I've got this my own matrix here, and which talks about <clears throat> on, on the left side is what is your passion level? Okay. Low and high. And on the <clears throat> X matrix is your resources. Okay. <clears throat> Your resources means your the money you have, the education you have, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Now, if your resources are low and passion is low, then you take a job. Please do not worry about trying to get a business, okay? But I'm gonna talk about it separately. If your passion is high, but your resources are low, you don't have so much money, you are not highly educated and all, you need to get help there. Okay, you can still do the business, but you need to get help. If your resources are high and the passion is low, but you want to use that those resources, then find a place to invest. Okay, go into investment. And I'll talk about this detail a little later. And if your passion is high and your resources are high, then nothing should stop you. Okay, go for it. So if your passion is low, resources are low, then you take up a job and learn to dream. This is crucial. So, so if you want to actually, if you want to really grow in life, you have to have a dream. You have to have goals based on that. And so how do you learn to do that? Well, try to see what, what makes you happy. Um, travel is a happy thing, then travel visuals. Um, you know, buying good things is a happiness and do that. Get some visuals in your life, put it in front of you to talk about what makes you feel you know, happy and, 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 and joyful and, and you want to achieve that, do that. There are ways or means of doing it. So if you build a dream around you and you grow yourself. So if your resources are low, you grow yourself. You know? Various means are there. You, know, you take up a job, uh, save some money, get some education, higher education, learn the subject. There are a hundred things we can do to grow, to grow in that. If your passion is high and resources are low, and when you say get help, there is a price to pay, guys. You have to spend money, okay? Master the skill, build resources. Delay your project timeline. So if you, you can't do it today because your resources are low, then build those resources to, okay, I will do this when I'm able to do, like achieve such, such, such levels of whatever, education, knowledge, money, assets, whatever. And that can only happen if you set goals to say and arrange assets to happen and protect current assets. So you don't want to lose what you have. So there's a bit of a planning to be done, but you can do that. If you have high resources, passion is not there to start a business. You don't want to waste your, those resources. So why not invest into something so that they can grow and you can pass that on to people invest into partnership with businesses. You can find businesses who need help. You have to be careful. You have to be very, very careful on that you, you choose wisely. You don't want to lose that money or lose control, but there are ways and means to possible to invest by getting mentors, finding mentors who can help you, whom you can trust, okay? And do research. A lot of research is required when you're going to invest money into it, okay? If you have the passion and you have the resources, then go for it. Get the right idea. Be disciplined financially. Understand how to develop business. Marketing and selling is a skill you need to have. If you can sell the correct way, you will never be able to, you'll never have issues, okay? 24 by 7. Get your business structured right. Very crucial. Hire professionals to work with you. 
or you can buy in into a business and take over an existing business and see where you take it in your own mind okay so in a very simple way this is the model that i feel can help you decide where you are with with your dreams and resources and passion and what you should do okay i'm happy to help people in whichever way the stages they are and we can work on specifics and details on those things to help you guys okay <clears throat> This is something which I want to talk a lot more. Understanding the why, okay? Um, there is a video that I I have given a link there. I will give the slides of copy to copy of all these slides to Vedic Business, so you can all share it. You can take it, and please link on this. This video has transformed the small and medium enterprises hell of a lot. Okay, I cannot speak high enough for that. If you see this video. and if you're thinking doesn't change then we need to talk okay the second part is this have you ever done a personal swot if you understand what swot is strength weakness opportunities and threats we have heard this being done for businesses and you will do that for you know something or the other but have you done it for yourself honestly you don't have to show weaknesses to people you don't have to don't have to show this anywhere to anybody but have you honestly done this try this and you will find yourself knowing where you stand and then use your strengths because you can surround yourself with people whose strengths are your weaknesses so if you build a business on what is based on your strengths you will hire people who will do things that you are not able to do and you will see you how you grow so this is one one thing which i always teach every every ceo and all company surround yourself with people whose strengths are your weaknesses and you will become a big team okay values and beliefs what do you believe in values are things that we deem important in our life honesty integrity discipline okay and beliefs are what we feel to be true what are those i can i can speak a lot on those things and take you but you need to put that into your mind okay and find the purpose it is important to understand what you want to do what this that business you want to do what customers gains you are going to help what customers uh, sorry gains you going to help with what customers pains you are going to uh, help them overcome so that they will come to you for their service product or service okay know the customer why people do not buy what they do they buy why you do it i tell you a reason customers always have two jobs to be done for that what the whatever they do this is a famous uh, sentence you google this two jobs to be done and you'll get a lot of information everyone including you hi whenever we buy anything there are two reasons why by we buying a rational and an emotional rational is for example i want to buy a pen i could get at 1 dollar borrow or a few cents borrow because the rational work is to write okay that's it nothing else but why will i go and buy a 100 dollar pen because i want to show i feel very good having that emotional attachment to that pen and uh, i um, maybe like to show people that see i can afford a 100 dollar pen everything you do you go and realize this in your all your purchases decisions that you have done you will be having these two jobs every time every time you buy thing is sometimes the rational takes over and sometimes the, most of the time emotional takes over so if it is a, if it is a rational pic, any 2 dollar picture to be hung on a on a wall you will just buy any nail and put it there because it's a 2 dollar picture just but if it was a picture of your children you don't want it to fall so you will buy the best nail possible and hang it the most strongest way so that never falls so you don't then go buy and sub buy buy a 1 cent nail you go buy a very good strong anchoring bolt to go into the wall for that picture because picture is more important not the hanging of it so this is something which we need to understand okay 
and I can speak hours on this. We will not touch that now, but I will talk about it in the next one. So now the decision, what do you want to do? Are you going to deal, what your strengths are, okay, based on that, are you a good service person? Then let's go to service industry. Uh, if you are a good operational manufacturing or, or, or a person that is, is great on operational side, then maybe good stuff you need to look at, okay? Do you remember that? Your assets, the risks are different both ways, okay? So you need to decide whether you want to go for a service industry or, or, or let's say for manufacturing. I'll just use that example, okay? Um, Australia, manufacturing has been going down, but it's going to come back again now. Service is the major industry in Victoria. 60, 70%. So maybe, maybe you, you decide what service, what, what, which one want to do. Whether it is tangible, you may be a very great guy in selling insurance. Okay, well, if you are going to sell insurance as a non-tangible, well, do that. You might like to look at that part. Or tangible is, well, something that you can see and feel and touch, okay? I want to sorry, just simply mention the word value addition. Okay? And value addition is by which of, by way of the amount of money that you are able to charge from your customers over the cost of the product that you have got. Okay, so it's, 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 please, if you're confused, um, I can come back onto this, but the reason what I'm saying is this, customers pay for your product. They will give it to the value that you think, they think that it deserves. So you have to create a product of a value addition that customers will give high value for, okay? Don't look at price point as your way of doing business, please. You will never gain, you will never win. Go at premium end of the market. Go at where you can get higher price for whatever you provide, higher price for your services per hour, higher price for the goods that you sell. You will make more profit, that's one, two, your standard of service will change because when people pay high, they expect higher service and you will do a higher service, you will grow. So this is a very, very crucial key word value addition that I want to make people understand. Do not do go into a business without a, having a subject knowledge, please. If you don't have it, get the subject knowledge and allow time to have that experience. You know, I've seen people get into businesses, oh, I've started to do this. And now, and I'm getting calls from them on an hourly basis. Oh, what do I do here? What do I do here? So you have to tell that guy, this stuff. Go and spend the next one week studying the subject. Understand what it is and I will ask you questions about the subject. And then after one month, they've come back saying, thank you very much. We didn't realize this. We have, we have we, we were not knowing so many things that I know now. So it is important to you know, to you know the subject. Don't go by what your neighbor is doing and okay, I'll do that. Please don't. Your strengths may be different. Your weaknesses may be different. You cannot do what you what you see people around doing. Oh, I'll follow them. I'll follow them. Hey, hey be careful. You don't want to do that because you have to do what you are doing. Your it's your business. Okay. If you are wanting to start a business and you don't know the subject, take a job in that line. Work for someone in that same line. Be honest, tell them. Well, uh, many, sometimes people are going to try to hide. Well, if you need two, three years experience, people won't mind because they will may even help you. And uh, understand what a product costing is. Very crucial and it helps you improve on value addition Work on net margins and not gross margins, please. Gross margin, I hope I can run this crusade and remove this gross margin word from all the financial analysis, p &Ls that people do. Not necessary, because ultimately what is coming into your hand is the net margin based. So why would you keep on working on gross margins? There are expenses after gross margins which are never accounted for. And so 90% of the businesses I work for haven't got a costing right. So they don't even know actually what they're making. They're making profit, but they don't know how they're making profit. So no, be careful there. Okay, so this is the word decision. And now I'm going to go on to the 
how are we helping you build that? So we've got the why part, the passion and the dream. We've got the what part, what you want to do. The sequence sometimes is different. So sometimes it may be why is one first, then it's how and then what, but it all depends, okay? So there is many times a, a overlap between the two, the how and the what part. So don't be too uh, hung on the word. The, the whole objective is to get started onto a business proposition. So how we do that? Set goals, okay? Achievable goals, not not unachievable goals, okay? Smart is called a smart goal, okay? And Google smart and find out what it means. Set a smart goal. Value proposition. This is another word that I want to drill into people's mind. People come to you once because somebody says, I'm selling this or I have this product and they will buy it once. If they buy it again, repeat, there is something that you are doing in your value proposition to them that they are attracted towards. So how do you increase that? You understand what value proposition you are offering to them. Value, value proposition is the reason why customers keep on coming back to you. Because you are meeting some customers' gains, you are providing some uh, help to overcome their pains, that's why they buy that. And that is another understanding. So there's a whole exercise on this I conduct, what is called value proposition canvas, to help you understand what product services you need to design to overcome the customers in that sector, the pains of those customers, and help them get the gains that they want. It's a very interesting subject. I love to have exercises, workshop done with clients of mine, and when you teach them, they suddenly understand, oh, wow, how important it is to understand that. The first, and whenever you're setting up a new business, understanding a business plan is very crucial, okay? Don't have to make a very 100-page business plan, but you need to make it, okay? Because that brings clarity into what you're planning to do. When you write things down, it becomes clearer. Do mm -hmm. not give the financial control to anyone except yourself, okay? Many people have a good accountants and they, and, and, and they do a great job. But I would like you to know a little bit more about the finance so that you are able to also decide what to happen and don't depend on anybody else for all your reports. And learning to sell marketing is very crucial. Happy, to spend time to learn this because if you can sell well, you have a very good chance of making a business because business development comes second nature to you and you know what customers are wanting. So suddenly you are able to relate a lot with customers because you are meeting their requirements, okay? So now how you want to do that? You could get a franchise, okay? If you have money, resources, passion, you could get a franchise. There are a lot of franchises available, but please be careful on what you choose, which company do you choose as franchise. We have seen some very horrendous failures of very large companies because of the culture of that franchise. So be careful there. Franchise makes you a little bit less problematic to run things because they take care of a lot of things, but then you are looking at that as spending a lot of money more. So you have to be careful, okay? It's a very good way of uh, running the business if you can, um, if you're happy to let control be with somebody, okay? Contract out. So don't buy everything, okay? If, if you are going to make some products, there are a lot of people who will make it for you and you will pay uh, some charges and get that product without spending much money on, you know, spending equipment. But if you want to do that, well, then in that case, don't buy. Lease and hire. There is a lot of lease and hire available so that you keep your costs low. Your startup costs keep low range, not very high. Because suddenly you spend money buying building and buying equipment once oh, you're running a business. Working capital becomes oh, an issue. Now, so some problem go double wale. Please, yeah. now she knows. Yeah. Anything about ten minutes?
So we, we we need to we need to understand. You got a kitty of money. You want to start a business. We have to got to get a business plan as done. Essentially, where the business money where the money is going to go to. And if you spend factory, you buy the factory, and suddenly you have less money left available to you, lease it out. If you want to buy, bring your assets and then buy later on. Okay. Don't start to get your assets first. Build a business first. Net assets will happen if you build a business. Okay, then you need to work, worry about approvals and requirements to meet of the local or the state government or the federal government. Following the law is very crucial. Councils need some ap approvals to be given. Planning approvals are there. If you are going into a food business, you need a food safety business, uh, supervisor training. They provide that. So you need to be aware what you are needing to get that business happening from the local council and the government rules. Okay? Find that out. Okay. There are lots of detail available. Um, Oz Industry website is there. Um, state government website. In Victoria, business.victoria.gov.au, local councils, each of these are manned by people who will help you, who can help you. So local councils have eco-development people, okay? State government, Business Victoria has those eco-development people in the councils, and also they have um, investment managers, as they are called, and they are placed in, in a different areas, um, not in every council, there are I think five or six in Melbourne, and then there are regional uh, two or three in Victoria. So there are investment managers sitting there, bring them up. They will be very happy to provide you help on that. So take that advantage, what is available. There's a lot of help available on the from the government on many of the subjects. And, and the next subject I'm going to cover for the CEO's masterclass is called the government support. There's a lot there for us to, should be taking advantage of. And you can run into, fair amount of chunk of money. So there is help available. What else is there available? Then there is a scheme called New Enterprise Incentive Scheme. Okay, N-E-I-S. TAFEs provide it. And if you see this, there is a money available for you as a startup. They actually help you set up a business. They teach you, they run, they, you, you go there, you learn how to set up a business, okay? And if you are, um, you can be a part-timer studier, you can do that, or uh, you can, um, you can be unemployed, it doesn't matter, okay? This is a scheme that the government helps people understand the, the, the ins and outs of running a business, okay? Um, a small, in fact, from this, this due to COVID, small micro business owners are in, can also access NEIS if they need a help. So if you're a small business owner already, NEIS can help you in some of those things, okay? The training, personalized mentoring, income support, rental assistance, all available in this. So look at this. This is the website, okay? Uh, this website will show you all the details are available, please. Um, if you Google NEIS, you'll get that. And TAFEs, local TAFEs, not all TAFEs provide that, only some of them. Find that local TAFE which is providing that service and go there and spend some time. Even if you know business, go and spend some time there and find out what they provide to you, okay? Um, you can directly approach them or you can talk to Job Active. There, there are a lot of organizations in the government right now giving you a lot of help. Okay, it is their job. The websites are very self-contained. A lot of information is available there. Access that, spend some time on that, okay? You can also ring them up, etc. So there is a lot of information available on this website place, NEIS, okay? Um, the job active side, okay? Um, so other government support and startups is, <coughs> um, I work in a, Entrepreneurs program, it is called, which is Oz Industries' most successful uh, offering to the SME sector, eligible SMEs. And we work between 1.5 million and up to 100 million revenue turnover. Okay. I work below this and I have clients which are more than 100 million also. But 
um, most of my work is within that. Um, so in this entrepreneur program, we also do some help on startups. And so there is one which is commercialization. So if you have an idea, you've got your pilot ready, the project, the product is a world changing global uh, you know, revolutionary product, and, but you don't know how to commercialize it, we will help you and give you money to do that. Okay, up to half a million dollar possible, more also, whatever it is. It's a very tight sub uh, fund. So you have to, you know, do a lot of work to get the money, but they will give you the money. Okay. Or if you are absolutely not yet started anything, then you want to, you know, get some help to start something up. Then you can go and take the help from the incubator support. Okay. So there are a lot of incubators existing along various places. If you have heard of them, these are not, not they're, they're not only the, uh, share, share work uh, places. These are actual organizations which help you start up. So they have a place for you to go and uh, establish yourself as an office and a table, and they provide you a lot of help to grow your product line, your research, your, your startup, and they get money from the federal government to help you. So take advantage of that. If, you're, if your product you're deciding, wanting to do is coming into the incubator support, well, well, let us go and do that. Why would you spend your own money if you can get some help somewhere, okay? Then uh, Victoria has got what is called Launch Vic Fund. That is to support, uh, to get you the services from people who can mentor you or specific specialist services that can help you launch your product product and so they don't pay you for launching the product they get they pay you for giving you assist so getting some people to assist you to launch the product okay so if you if you have an idea and then you want to know what to do something about it validation is there or you want some consumer research done or you want anything well we can go and find from launch week if there is anything available to do that whenever you are finding a new product there is an incentive that the federal government gives in your tax, and that's called R&D tax incentive. It's only valid for non-trust businesses. So, so if you're a trustee of a trustee, then you can't claim this one. And that also means that you should look at why you are a trustee of a trustee business. You can have a trustee of a trustee on the top, but underneath you must have an ABN and then take advantage of everything else. This is a structuring of the business that we can talk separately on. So r and tax incentive is that it allows you to charge extra, uh, sorry, expense out extra money of r and So if your r and let's say, is uh, $100, you are allowed to claim, uh, right now I think it's 138.5. So you get 38.5% more for the same spend. Now, you may say, I'm, 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 I'm not making any profit, so how does it matter? Well, so the, if losses are more to be recovered, it takes you the profit, more profit to recover those losses. So your gain is longer, right? So r and tax incentive is cash flow. You do not, you cannot imagine what kind of a cash flow you can get. I have got client companies and I know a lot of companies and all, half a million, you know, depending on what, what do they do and all. But these kind of numbers are there. And company, if you're a research company that you are not making any, revenue at all, the only operating expenses and you know, developing a product or technology and all, then you can claim the whole amount and, and the government will give you the money because you had a negative, you did, did not make any money, you only spent the money. They'll give you a R&D incentive, R&D tax incentive fund, okay? Use that. Why would you not do that, okay? It's a cash flow coming to you. Then there is an export market development grant. So there is a lot of information available on this export market development grant. Earlier it used to be post payment. Now with COVID, it is pre-payment. Okay, go ahead and find the new rules of EMDG. That means you can actually get the money before. Okay, you have to be eligible, you have to do things, but there is money available to do things prior to doing. And EMDG used to be post. Always use claim for it. So new rules have come. Study them, please. Okay, r and This is a website for r and tax incentive. You will see this one here. Um, EMDG, new rules. This is a website for that. Okay, 
um, incubators, funding. This is the way it is. How am I going for time, guys? It's okay. Okay. People right. are enjoying and we are benefiting out of uh, your very informative and educative talk. No, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to take the questions also. So we'll yeah, I've, I've got a few questions. Yes. But before yeah. that, I must thank for such an informative um, discussion. I Go haven't ahead. finished. Let me finish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, there are information available on to how, how you take this accelerated commercialization website. Okay. Then there is an organization called Small Business Mentoring Service. Okay. So SBMS. And these are people deputed by the federal government to run small business mentoring classes, helping. They give you a mentor. They allow uh, your mentor who spends an hour with you, or maybe more, et cetera, et cetera, on, on for months to help you grow. They say, so you, there are a lot of experience available, professionals available on starting a new business, anything. You can read this amount. There is this is something that government is promoting a lot, lot has been going on for a long time. So it's there. Just just take take advantage of it. Um, this is the SBMS website. Okay, look at it and find out what you want to do with that. Okay, um, then grants. Now, while well, I will touch on these things separately for the CEO's masterclass and so on, there is this website. For all grants. It's not easy navigating it because there are hundreds of them. But if you have the patience and time and you can research, then you can find things to do. There are lots of money being put into the market now by the COVID by the government. We need to be taking advantage of that. And they they give you time to execute the projects. So if you got the money. If you, if, you, if you need to invest the money into project, large project, anything, they'll give you time to execute the project. Generally two years, they don't mind if, if it is a big one. Uh, smaller amounts, they look at that differently, but they give you time. And um, the, the, you, the funding is available on dollar for dollar basis generally, okay? I have never seen a 100% fund coming, okay? Maximum is about 50, so 50 50, that means one dollar for you, dollar, your dollar. And generally, it is between 25 to 33 percent. So, if it is a hundred dollar project, they'll give you 25 dollar to 33 dollar, and you have to pay, pay the balance. Okay, and so there is a way and means to do it, and it's grant, it's not a loan, you don't pay it back, it's an income to your business in the other income column of the bottom of the balance chain on the PL. Okay, so it has to be. Um, it looked in that that way. The government is giving you the money, which is taxpayer money. They expect you to give them enough information to meet that requirement. So there's a merit criteria. There are people who will help you write applications. And I can tell you, I have done it for many, 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 many clients. It's not very complex. It looks, oh my God, I have to do so much work. It will teach you to do the work for your business to understand what your business is doing. And that's more important than simply preparing a business plan. Very crucial, very good to get in a habit of forming one or two grant applications, then you suddenly your thinking changes, okay? So this is available. This is entrepreneur program, as I was saying, we start with, with the zero, when, when they, you are starting the product, the risk is very high, you get R&D tax incentive, take advantage of that, some cash is coming in here, and then as your product gets made, the risk starts to get low, this is a very studied phenomena called value of death. The new ideas reach that stage. And you are you have spent the money, spent the money, spent the money, you don't have any money left over and that idea dies, okay? If you research this, you will find out how to overcome that. So that's the time when we come in and help you. You have developed your product, don't know how to commercialize, will that help you commercialize? And this is also the time when the venture capitalists come in Give you money okay so so that you don't have uh, this you don't fall into the valley of death once you overcome that then you go up and we in our in our entrepreneur program we looked at business management and innovation connection okay so this is us entrepreneur program okay 
I think I have um, covered um, quite a bit into the subject. Um, there is a separate slides uh, for uh, taking up a job. If you guys wanted to uh, want to, we can do it next time or whenever um, you tell me. Um, it's a six stage process. Uh, taking a job is a six stage process, not one. Okay, and how do you do that? How do you have a improve your success rate? And um, that we can talk about. Okay. So Thank this you. Is, um, if you have the dream and the passion and the discipline, you can conquer the world. I believe very strongly in it. Okay. Questions, please. I'm happy to take the questions. The question. First of all, thank you, Viniji, for such an informative, educative, and uh, it was meant to be for startups, uh, those who want to start business, but you have covered it so comprehensively that it will benefit even the existing, growing, or established businesses. You have given more than enough resources. And thank you for doing that. If you have got dream, if you have got passion, if you have got discipline, you can conquer the world. What a lovely word. And um, I think uh, uh, we Indians, particularly who come from India and other parts of Indian subcontinent, they are very fearful of government departments. They don't approach them. Whereas you have opened up a huge opportunity for these businesses that here the, these departments are there to help you and you can get funding and grants which will be extra money in your business. So please utilize that. Let me come to the um, question part, few questions which have come to uh, me directly uh, or in the group, I will um, list them. Um, Please. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, some people have passion for what they do and expert in their respective profession but are not good marketers and good seller. What is your suggestion for them? So marketing and selling. Okay, my statement to this is always, learn to become good at what you want to do. So if you need to join a course, join a course. If you need to change your behavior. So there are three concepts in everybody's life. IQ, EQ, CQ. IQ is intelligent quotient, everybody knows, okay? EQ is emotional quotient. How do you handle people? How do you behave with people? Okay, you need to understand that. So become a good at EQ. And the third is called CQ. Being global industry, the cultural quotient, CQ stands for cultural quotient, is very important. Don't give a gift of a to Chinese in a white envelope. You need to understand those things. So when you are doing selling and marketing, you are getting to do to build your strengths on IQs, EQ, and CQ. And there is a lot of ways to improve there. There are uh, they, they teach you neurological. There is a thing neurological learning NLM, I think it's called or NLR something like that. They help you learn selling and marketing. Very important to do that. Uh, I, I can see the chat questions. So Rakesh, I can handle. I yeah. oh, hope you are enjoying the presentation. Great information. Can you do the previous slides? And yes, uh, yes, yes. I, I, you will have all the slides available. I will send it to you guys, and you can go through it all yourself. Okay. Um, mantra holistic counseling. Yes, absolutely, Monica. Why not? And let us look at that, and then let's run a value proposition workshop. Okay. I'm happy to run a value proposition workshop here because that will help on everybody. Okay. Um, but there are a lot of things there. So I'm, I'm just going to say what I'm thinking, but you guys have to tell me, yep. But I feel that will be a good idea to understand what value proposition is, okay? Um, or NEIS. Uh, so NEIS is, <clears throat> it's a scheme by the government. And, and it is totally for new entrepreneurs. It is run in TAFEs. <laughs> it's like an education program for entrepreneurs. Okay, and they pay money for you. They can help you with some money also. They can they help you a lot. They help you build a business plan. They help you understand your idea. They help you develop on that idea, what to build it on, where you want to take it on, etc. It's a very good program. I would recommend anybody who is starting a business go and spend some time there. 
Okay, not every tape does it. Only few tapes. I think I've given the list of tapes too. There, have a look at that, and um, you will you will not you will gain from it a lot. I can tell you that. Okay. Um, what are current top three areas government to focus and invest? Okay. So the government is saying they have given some priorities. Okay. So they have identified uh, six uh, sectors where they are wanting to uh, promote in the next um, uh, decades or whatever. And these are manufacturing, food and food and be uh, food and beverages. And please note this, they haven't said food and agribusiness. What they are saying is food businesses and be beverages, people which we can, businesses which can add value to it. So not grow more vegetables, but use to make product, products from that. Potato sells for $1 a kilo, potato chips sell for $30 a kilo. Where would you like to be? The government says, go for the $30 a kilo price. That's where you can get to. Okay, so those, I mean, I'm just giving, throwing the numbers there, it may not be exactly right, but this is the purpose. Then there are defense, uh, there are six sectors, please, if I don't remember two offhand. That's where, and I can send you that link, okay? Um, I can send you a um, link of the, the announcements that they have done, done in budget. Um, I'll send it to you guys, you can put it on your website, please, and people can have a look at that, okay? It's all clear in that. The second part that I am very, keen about is investment into recycling industry. Okay, so they have identified four um, pro pro product uh, products that they want to promote recycling. So you know that export of all recycling is going to be banned in the next two, three years. They won't allow. Okay, so there is a lot that you can recycle. That's where you should be able to provide. So pay, um, I think there are four items, glass, plastics, tires, and one more. Any business that you want to grow, you want to invest, this is where you need to look at, okay? Anything to do with energy management, waste to energy, okay? Using energy to, uh, using these ways and means to re reduce your energy cost. Another one, food waste. So they have a, they waste fifty billion dollar food waste. Um, that is, so, sorry, twenty billion dollar food waste right now in Australia, and they want to halve it by twenty thirty, so in the next ten years. So, have you got ideas to reduce food waste? Food waste is happening at every stage of food processing, from farm to fork. Okay, there is a lot of money being put there to reduce that. Doing, so, so that we can recover 10 billions of that. So if you're investing, these are the projects that you need to look at, okay? All right, defense, if you're a defense supplier, you want to become, well, go there. So, so there are there, okay? Um, I, I'll send you some more details. I hope that answers for the time being. And then if you want to more details, get back to me and we can talk, all right? Um, NES, NEIS online, I don't know, maybe you can check, please. I don't think so. You have to go to some classes there, uh, but I think they have a fair amount of, I, I this COVID has created a lot of new models. So maybe that is all in any case um, online. Uh, RTO, what is RTO and Krikos, please? RTO is registered training organization, if that is the way you're talking about. Um, Well, any business is possible. If you, you have to prove the business plan um, to yourself. Um, RTOs have had some bad press and bad names, but RTOs provide a very good service. So um, I have no problem if you're having a good, a good honest RTO, well, there is money, there, there is a, there's a help to the people that is possible. And, and because, uh, please, whoever has asked me that question, please, I don't know what the word Krikos is. Can you unmute yourself and tell me that? Hi, good afternoon. Um, CRICOS is essentially for students uh, who are international students. So okay. RTO is for domestic, CRICOS is for international. CRICOS 
international students i have the, my knowledge on this part is little low so i would not be able to answer correctly but i think we could be able to find this information um, yeah. if you are an international I'm, student here yeah um, if you want to start a business here um, i would think that they would help somehow um, yeah. but i need to study this i'm afraid yeah, I'm, i'm not an international not. student um, we are planning on starting our own rto cry course i've been here 19 years um that's that's what yeah we were trying to work out but that's okay i'll get in touch with you personally absolutely Thank no you. problem so, sorry we need can i just um, answer that question please do yeah. please do uh, so rto is not just for domestic student it, you, i mean it's basically a registered training organization however to enroll international students in an rto you need cry course registration so when you open an rto you can have both domestic and international students coming but you cannot have international students till the time you've got cry course registration which is basically a register for uh, overseas students yeah that's correct yeah thank okay. you just thank you thank you for the presentation um uh thank you preeti for um, giving the information on uh, the sectors health food and beverage space defense recycling and clean energy critical mineral processing and resource technology do you know how much of high value minerals wastage is there in mining here in australia big so recycling is an industry one must study there is a national action policy which was issued last year in october november sorry 2019 have a read ask me for information i can send you that i can send you the the technology things that state government victoria has prepared to choose the technologies that can be done to do things okay have feel free and to choose what it is okay um medical waste oh definitely definitely okay um i focus on manufacturing excellent presentation thank you very thought provoking presentation thank you huge focus on local, local manufacturing thank you and that's about it i have covered all the questions um thank you guys i'm happy to take any more questions personally if you want there's a lot to take i can understand that once uh, you once you see the slides yourself and um, um, you will have more questions um, i have tried to give you the links etc so there may be um, information that you can read yourself and so um, then you can ask me the right questions okay um, and and then we can discuss further um, there are there are there is a funding program that the government has announced which should be um, getting details announced in uh, early 2021 and uh, so there is one manufacturing uh, fund modernization manufacturing modernization fund second round which is there for people who have businesses they want to grow and set up a business well that's a so federal fund so limitations are there as, as to how you can become successful at that getting the money but um, state government will announce definitely they have always announced funding um, there is going to be capital funding in capital investment funding announced um hopefully it will be significant um but uh, with with so many things happening and if you are interested to know more about this my next one is going to have a bit more details on many of these specifics so we can discuss that um i have covered some of them here but um there is a lot more that the government provides okay a lot more than what um, we think um okay guys all yours so i'll sh stop sharing this i think we'll stop sharing same um thank you thank you vinay ji thank you so much very informative and i think everybody is benefiting even uh, we um, uh, who are the mentors in this group are benefiting a lot out of it and the great resources will be available on our website as well as on lotus world youtube channel um and uh, you can any time approach us uh, uh, the mentors in this group have offered free one to one session
for those who want to avail the opportunity and uh, in their you go to their website uh, or the website and know the profile of each mentor um, they have got a specific um, strengths in their areas so you can in their areas you can approach and i'm offering that anytime you approach me uh, it is not only one session free anytime you approach me i will be able to guide you in the right direction uh, so which i've always been doing and with that we must thank uh, vinit ji for this very beneficial talk and will request any of our um, members from the mentor family if they want to say anything before we conclude one by one amesh ji you like to say something namaskar everyone Uh, it was a great 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 actually presentation uh, thank you very much vinish ji uh, giving your precious time to us and it's a mind boggling actually uh, for the business people it's a great opportunity and definitely we're looking forward more to do this there's a few things um, the people are actually getting benefit and they i see the the questions and answers everybody saying thanks to him now uh, that's great and definitely i know i'm going to join him again next week he's the only keep telling us so i'd love to join him thanks next week as uh, vinit ji was mentioning uh, this one was for the beginners next one is for ceo master class so as the name uh, says itself it is for the business owners who are thick and thin into it uh, it will be more interactive session so those who are running businesses must join because it will not be one way traffic that you are getting um, education or information from vinit ji it will be very mutual we we'll learn from each other's experience as well so uh, tune in for next week also and this will be a monthly feature so if you want something to be covered please feel free to provide us uh, uh, um, whatever you want to cover in the next session so we can tailor made the session according to your needs though vinit ji has got depth of knowledge and expertise he will uh, put that you must have noticed that in this beginners class we have learning as if it is meant for ceos so think of that when he steps up and goes to the next level it will benefit more and more people and established businesses uh, anybody else sachin ji you would like to say something sandeep ji vinay ji thank you very much aapne bahut acha uh सब गाइडेंस किया है सबको एक अकाउंटेंट होने के बावजूद बहुत सारी चीजें आपने जो बताई जो मुझे मालूम नहीं थी थैंक यू वेरी मच संदीप जी विनीत जी इट वाज एन आई ओपनर आई आई थॉट आई न्यू मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स बट आई डिंट सो आई एम श्योर एवरीबॉडी वेंट थ्रू दिस एक्सपीरियंस यस आई वुड सजेस्ट इन आवर नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन वी वुड maybe go a bit more into the government support for new businesses that is my first subject yeah because there are too many websites there are too many information available but where to go and how to go about it or maybe maybe we can ask one of these uh, you know participants to give their businesses an example that they would like to have some funding and maybe take it case to case and let's see you know this is a learning experience absolutely and, and let's see how to apply where to apply what you know what to divulge what is the status what is the future i mean there there is a lot of things to be uh, you know said in that so i would request and uh, maybe rakesh ji and you can both you know be together because he's a finance uh, wizard mm -hmm. so maybe both of you can get together and let's uh, let's at least you know support one or two businesses and try and get them some funding yeah and set an example for the rest so this is what and and i would like to reiterate that this platform is not only for listing it is for helping yes we Very want people to come up ask us questions we will use our resources we will try and help you and we will try and help you grow so do not take it as an ordinary business listing directory it is not it is much more than that yeah we are there to help yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and and i planned the next one that the one which i am going to present the first subject i thought was is let's do the government help assistance programs all the assistance that is available that you can use up okay right. different things are available at different state different part of thing etc it's a very interesting field mine field 
and how do you take advantage of that? That is what we will discuss. Okay, so we'll be getting into the depth part a little bit. Fantastic. And where we go, where, what to do, fine. And then, yes, happy to take up an example of a case or something like that. I'll tell you my cases. I'll tell you the stories of case studies that we have done for the clients and how they got the money and what did they do, etc. And how you never ever do things that you, if you want to fail to apply, then I'll tell you those things too. If you want to fail, how to how to do applications. That is more important. Yep, yep, yep. Happy. I've seen, I've seen clients failing, mm. and um, I knew they are going to fail, and they won't listen. So that happened. So yep, happy to. Do, that'll be in depth. Next one for the CEOs. I thought it will not be very necessary because there's too much to cover here. Uh, we could be here for hours. But the, you, you, your level the business is already being run. They can gain a lot from the next one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Vipul ji and Monika ji, be prepared for the next questions. Um, Vinit ji, thanks a ton. Uh, it's an eye opener and echoing Sandeep ji's. Uh, point we think we know but this is just a beginning <laughs> yeah. and thank thank you once again for uh, opening up our thought process our mindset and as as one of the slides says that business is 24 by 7 so yeah. that's a hardcore reality which anybody and everybody if he is starting or he's in early stage or in mid stage or a growth stage that sh that thought or that line should be always running into the mind. So completely resonating with that one line. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Thank is. you. Thank you, Monica. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, yes, you know. be ready for next. Uh, thank you, I will say, uh, the Working Committee, Vedic uh, Global Business, uh, amazing platform. And I can see majority of us are, you know, running business. And with me, I'm taking, you know, baby steps into your world. And I'll say the timing is, it couldn't be uh, better. I have just started it and I'm in the process of, you know, uh, working out what is what. And you have started this uh, presentation or series of information. That's amazing. And I'm pretty sure like uh, I'm getting benefit. I have just started the business. Uh, listening to you, many of us will get motivated as well to start their own business. Because I think we have to, it is mentality as uh, Viniji said, we have to come out of that mentality of being an employee and uh, be you know, independent and start our own business. So I'm pretty sure many of us will get motivated with this series. Thank you. Thank you so much for organizing. Very well done. Raguji. Thank you, Viniji. Um, you know, it was mind blowing. Uh, the information, you know, um, I was thinking, um, you know, I know a lot, but basically I'm still learning ABCs in the business. So there is a lot, lot and a lot to learn from you. So, you know, um, it is a, um, I, uh, I actually say this is a stepping stone for us um, to learn more stuff from you in future. And uh, definitely, uh, you know, we are going to take a lot of benefit from your lectures and your guidance. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ritesh ji, you want to say I conclude the meeting? No, thank you. Thank you, Rakesh ji. Preeti, you want to say something? It is not there. Okay. Thank you for yes. everyone who yeah. joined today and hope you can see the benefit and will uh, communicate to others who can benefit out of these uh, type of uh, seminars. And Viniji, on behalf of Viniji, I can assure you, he will be our regular resource. Yes, Monica. Uh, I was just wondering, have you already thought of putting this recording on the website so that yes. people who could not yeah, join just, can uh, get benefits? It will be on two websites, where the global uh, business website, as well as on uh, Lotus World YouTube channel. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. And what about uh, Vedic Global website? That is what I'm saying. Vedic Global and Vedic Global Business will be okay, one of the Wonderful. Things. Thank you. 
राकेश जी और किसी को बात करनी है तो उनको जरा मौका दीजिए और भी लोग हैं यहाँ पे anybody else want to say something i think everybody has raised their questions but if anybody wants to say something give yes, compliment yes sir yeah yes sir this is vimal here first yeah. of all i would like to thank wholeheartedly the vedic business which is given this platform and vinit ji it was a really a really real eye opener i myself have been thinking about doing so many things i was always thinking about how part rather than what part mm. i was always thinking that money is important to start off everything it's not the money but the actual idea what exactly you want to do and how you want to do and i was always scared to approach and this the timing as um, just the madam told is cannot be more suitable this is the best time we got and now we got an uh, actually at least a path to walk on to where do we how do we approach systematically now i got confidence to actually start to look uh, start implementing the ideas i have been having and i know there is a help available i was always thinking that i need to just approach bank bank is the only one who can help me but no there are so there were so many other places which actually government is really trying to help us thank you very much for providing this platform very thankful for that so two things number one i have given a indication of a um, uh, simon sinek video there please in your own time click on that and see that right sir that will change your thinking and second part is this um, we are a national body okay so we are about 170 of us in this whole cohort all of us have been ceos of companies and consultants and and at senior management positions so if you want to help in any interstate also that also we can link up with okay so um, this is not simply a victoria thing guys very global guys spread the word around everywhere in the whole australia right. and they can be connected by me to the respective uh, areas people who can help them with startups like right. that okay so um, i can help but there is a whole force available to help others too so this could become a not a victoria offering this is go ahead and raise it to the whole vedic global australia level okay very good thank you sir hp bardwaj ji Asandeep ji, आप बोलिए. Vinish ji, I just had thought of another idea. Is that we can have one full session of pricing. Now, when oh, I say pricing, I it. it is it is value addition to your services or your goods. Now, this is basically people either who have come from India or are planning to come here. Now, the the cost of product operations are entirely different in India and then in here. One. Second is. the market acceptability of the price is entirely different from what it is so these are two things which we need to you know maybe spread the knowledge around as to how it is different from people who have been operating in india who been very successful may not be successful here and also people come with this kind of a, a you know mental thing that okay you could earn in dollars so you can price whatever you want no that um, that that has to be you know a reality check has to be there in place and educate them that this is what the market accepts and this is what your cost of production is going to be you may not be able to make millions overnight and it actually this is my most favorite subject with every whenever i start with any client this is the second thing i ask first is financials yeah and the second thing is give me a sending me a costing sheet 90% Ninety-five percent costing is wrong. Yes, mm. they have no idea. Their existing business, many years they've been making money. They're showing me a bit and a bit down of ten percent and twelve percent and what not. But they have costing totally wrong. Okay, so it is crucial because if you are not even if if you don't even cost your products right how you can expect customers to pay what what you deserve correct yeah. mm. so if first you know need to know what the correct costing method correct costing and then you need to know okay what value i can get of, for this product from my customers so the market will will pay the price it the product deserves and how you make that happen is a different subject totally altogether yes so you really. can get higher value addition really. when you when you add um, price depending on which sector where what do you do what way you play 
Okay, if you play in price point, I can tell you that it is a volume business, but then you do volume business for volume business products. Mm -hmm. Don't think that every product can be a volume based. Okay, so you have to decide where you want to play, which space you want to play, which sector you want to play, where is the pricing spectrum you want to play with, who is your competition. There is only one way to handle competition, guys. Only one way. And I can ask you this question. If you have your finger, put it like this and put it here. There's only one way to handle competition. Only one way. Use your brain. Competition is there. It is supposed to be there. It will help you. If the competition is not there, you will be complacent. If the competition is there, you will be on the top of things. But how to manage that? You need to think. So that thinking is crucial Running. And so all this costing and pricing and valuation comes in that. Yep, happy to do that. One of the subjects we'll take that one by one, I think. Yeah, um, one if, if you, if you, and he's any specific thing you want to check, or you know, something is happening, you know, very immediately and you need to help. No, well, I can help separately. But generally speaking, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. And one thing more I, I would like to emphasize, uh, giving um, unsolicited advice, that here to uh, approach professionals in respective areas, you will get a lot of benefits out of it. The knowledge we do, you don't have. So you have to approach a professional like accountant or planners or business coach. They can guide you in the right direction on all these knowledge which um, Viniji is giving the... Um, across the globe there are people like Viniji helping the businesses take advantage of them they are free resources and you yeah, will, absolutely. You will I, um, I always tell surround yourself with people whose weakness whose strength is equal to your weakness yeah. you will never lose never ever lose good to talk guys um, I'm very um, happy that people have liked it um, we'll continue our discussions and definitely uh, we have, if you I, if you want to send questions to the team and they, I'm happy to answer those questions separately for everybody because there may be things that you don't want to raise in public forum. You want to have a private discussion. Happy to have that chat. Um, my my time gets busy, so please don't mind if I can't call call you back immediately. But uh, if there is a need um, for a specific thing. Feel free. Okay. Thank Great. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, guys. No further questions. Let us close with thanks to everyone. And most importantly, Viniji, thank you so much for your time. We have gone overboard, but it was worth it. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.